Good morning, everyone. Let's see if you can see me. I got my little curtain on my bunk down. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Let's see if I can put this up. Alrighty. I am still on my journey. And I wanted to make this little video. It's going to be dark. I wanted to make this little video. Uh, this is the journey of um, still on my trail for my van. And I know you guys know that I decided to go ahead on and get off into the Class B type truck, the uh, expedited truck. And uh, some of these, some of the owners with these trucks, they want to keep these teams in these trucks because these are like $150,000 vehicles. And so they, uh, it's going to be better for them if they're able to have a team in it to go out on and make that money to pay for the truck. And so I have a team partner. I wasn't. Uh, anyway, um, oh yeah, I want to say this before I got on the truck, I did talk to that particular owner. He told me he had a van. I told him I wanted to go solo. I never wanted to do team. The last person I teamed with was my spouse and we separated and divorced. And so I hadn't had a team partner since then. I'm not used to the team thing. I don't like the team thing. I'm pretty much a solo person. I just want to do me, by me, by me. And so the owner does know that I did want to go solo. He said, hey, I have a team that you can, uh, a, a guy who, you know, live in your area, he's looking for a team partner, you can do that until I can get the van fixed. So I decided to take this temporary team assignment against my own better judgment, y'all. When something happens and you feel you shouldn't and your judgment is telling you no to the no, 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 listen to it. Even if you feel like you're bypassing a blessing, listen to that gut feeling, that energy, that telling you this ain't right. I didn't do that. I hopped on here and in the effort to make sure that my bills got paid before that van got before that owner's van got fixed i hopped on here and i'm doing the team thing so uh yeah dude ran it invented a lot um i only told him things that i wanted him to know and it was very sparingly where i could get a word in edgewise and i'm thinking oh gosh i just didn't want a lot of talk for me the whole purpose of having a three and a half hour conversation is so we can get all the newness out right then and right there and i can get on this truck and get in the peacefulness of what why i'm out here i enjoy trucking i enjoy the road i enjoy traveling um i quickly got back here and started making up my bed putting my sheets on my sleeping bag all my stuff i start positioning my stuff quickly because the only thing i could think is i just want to get back here and close the curtain pretty decorated over my left shoulder well it's right shoulder to you yeah you can see some tape i have some wires there these wires go to that little box on my window that little box is a control for my fairy lights i have fairy lights in the truck and i will put some pictures up so you guys can see that so i have fairy lights here i got a fan back here a little fan to keep me comfortable i have a privacy curtain up guys i'll have to tell you about what was going on why i had to put up a privacy curtain it was some ish going on y'all as i said first first trip on the way to get the load dude was rambling i barely could get a word in edgewise um you know how people use that term it'll happen sooner or later well i thought he would stop talking sooner or later just so happened it was later i ended up knowing everything about almost everything and then everything else and uh, the energy is just too much for me it's overwhelming at the end of that afternoon I did stop to slow down and tell him hey um, it's too much you're giving me too much of you all at once I don't need to know everything all at once I don't need to know what's going on with your family and your mom and you know he wants to show me pictures he's driving now he's digging up pictures of him holding a bunch of money and showing me cars that he's had and all this other stuff everything is passed up nothing is that nothing of what he showed me is what he has now it's just all passed up and the conversations is kind of like uh i don't know just rough just rough conversations and 
I don't know if he longs for his past or whatever not too sure but yeah I sat down with him at the end of that trip after we got loaded and just said hey you're telling me too much about yourself I just kind of want to sit here up front enjoy the journey do some thinking whatever um that didn't work because the next day on the journey he I was driving he came sit up front and he still had more to say he starts out by saying yeah and uh when I was telling you blah 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 he wants to elaborate on that point and then yeah when I was telling you blah 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 he wants to elaborate on that point I mean have you ever talked to somebody that let me see let me see if I can do it have you ever talked to somebody say for instance they tell you they went to the store yesterday and bought an apple okay and then they go from i went to the store yesterday to buy the apple and then i seen jan in the store and when i seen jan you know she didn't lost a lot of weight and yes you know she didn't had another baby too and that baby daddy that she was with he wasn't no good and i heard his pastor you know was this 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 wait hold on what happened to you straight line in that story just tell me you went to the store yesterday and and bought an apple i don't need to know that you ran into jan and what jan's doing and she got extra kids and her baby dad and her pastor and all that ah all that is like too much stay on the topic too much so that's how this guy conversates you'll end up knowing everything because it's like the the ramen noodle lines don't ever stop and they're wavy and they're curly and you can't tell the beginning from the end that is how his conversation is just all over the place and it's just overwhelming for me guys so <sighs> i'm just giving you a little peekaboo into what's going on and let's see what's the next thing it's just so much wanted to make sure that I matched with someone who was in the same line of um, taking care of things as I do. I did definitely didn't want to get on the truck with somebody who was uh, doing things that was like way off or different. But I am here to say that even if you have a long conversation with that person, it's still not going to guarantee because this wasn't a guarantee. There were all kind of stuff. There are all kinds of things that's been brewing up that wasn't discussed questions that I didn't even think to ask about like hey do you have any mental illnesses do you take medications I didn't think about that I didn't you know I just thought that some things are just here and there but anyway hey guys how's everybody doing today as you guys know I am on the trail venture to get my van and along the way it has been a crazy journey some good some bad some ups some downs I almost went to jail a couple of times maybe I'll share that later on either way I want to make this video uh, if you're interested in teaming with someone I got some things you need to talk to the person about first a lot of us not all of us do team and I said I would never team again I've teamed before and that was with my spouse and so um, team broke up so I no longer have a team partner however on the quest to get my van I decided to team with someone and uh, it's been a venture I am in a let's see if I can turn you I am in a tractor trailer as you can see we're at a truck stop tractor trailer cargo van Hell, if you teaming on a tricycle, you still need to ask these type questions. So, here goes. All of this is involving my first team partner. <laughs> all right, first of all, uh, you should ask questions in the beginning. When you first have the opportunity to talk to your potential team partner, ask many of your questions. Okay, so the person, I'm not going to name the company that I'm with. And I, even after I leave them, I'm not going to name them because I'm not a kiss to tell person. So, the company that I am with said, hey, uh, we got somebody in your hometown that we can match you with. So, I'm like, okay. All right, give me the person's number. I'll chit-chat with them. And we stayed on the phone three and a half hours the first conversation. Of course, I was mostly asking the questions. It didn't take me long to figure out that I might have been the brains of the operation, but... I asked the majority of the questions because I needed to know. This person just so happened to be a guy. I really did not want to team with a guy. Um, however, that's what they had for me. And 
teaming with someone from your home location is important because when they do home time then it's easier for you to do your home time as well as opposed to say if they had home time in california that is how many ever days do they stay on home time five to seven days you're either in the truck just chilling and doing nothing or you're doing independent loads and then the company has to try to find out another load that will get them back to you to that person to pick that person up so it can be a little fudgelistic i guess um the uh, somebody once told me hey whenever the team partner goes home the other person leaves the truck there with the team partner on home time and they fly home they have their home time as well and then they fly back as far as i know people in it to make money not spend money so why would you do that but hey to each his own so i was kind of excited to get this person who just happened to be a male from my hometown so we stayed on the phone three and a half hours the first very first time we talked uh i had questions about trucking how long he'd been in it ask those questions how long have you been in it what's your best experience in it how long you plan to be on it uh in it um has anything happened to make you want to get out of it you know ask about those incidences and those accidents and ask about their truck stop habits and just different things like that just try to get to know the person ask about the cooking maybe you cook in the truck and maybe they don't uh, or vice versa do they have a pet do they smoke are they gonna look at you crazy when you continue to clean the steering wheel with alcohol after they've gotten up or before you sit down those are the type of questions <laughs> that you really need to know so i being the smart person that i am thought i asked thought i asked all the questions well i was wrong y'all so this situation turned out to be a challenge for me all right so first of all i had already gotten myself a dot physical because i've been in trucking for quite a while and my company the new company not my company the new company was not satisfied with the dot physical that i had gotten because they said that doctor was listed as a chiropractor so okay i had to go take another dot physical no big deal so uh i sent it on to the state so they can put it on my records they didn't put it on my records fast enough for dude i'm gonna call him old dude okay so old dude had been home two or three days he was antsy he was ready to get a load so old dude called me on the very day he was supposed to pick me up and said well hey yeah if the company don't get you listed on the truck then i'm gonna just go on and do loads and i'll come back and pick you up later that was red flag number one so dude wasn't supposed to be trying to leave me he was supposed to be patient and wait for me to for the state to put my physical on there and then we can head down the road but anyway the owner of the truck had to call old dude and tell him hey slow down don't you leave her you said you wanted a teammate turn around and go get her so that was the issue but it wasn't a really big issue for me old dude came back the state connected my new physical to my license gave it to the company i was able to get in the truck all right so we got this load and we're heading like six hours away to get another load doesn't make sense but i said i wouldn't talk about the company anyway um he was asking me questions about me now that i'm in the truck he was asking me questions about me so i asked him to do me a favor some favors and he said oh, okay sure i'm just happy to have somebody in the truck with me okay because i've been lonely okay so cool so i'm thinking dude won't have problems with the what i'm gonna ask him to do all right number one i asked him to drive like his three-year-old niece he didn't have any children but i asked him to drive like his three-year-old niece was sitting in the front of this tractor trailer without a car seat in other words drive careful be careful thing i asked him to do was number two please don't text while you drive text while you drive so those were the only two things that i asked him 
not to do. Did he break these rules? Yes, he broke them. All right. And he broke some others that I didn't even think about. Dude was leaning over for water, okay? He's driving. He's holding the steering wheel, right? He's leaning across the truck for water. As a result, I'm doing this because the truck is doing this. So that was a problem for me. Got up. I peeped through the privacy curtain. I see old dude watching feeds on his phone, Instagram feeds, all these other feeds. He's looking at feeds while he's driving down the road, y'all. Alrighty, so major, let me stretch my flag out, major red flag there, okay. But I had just got on the truck. I'm like, okay, I'll be patient. I'll give it some time. I'll mention it to him, see if he can correct the issue. I'm trying to be patient. Alright, so a lot of stuff started happening guys when this guy said he was lonely he wasn't lying this guy talked the sun up to sun down yada 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 telling me well first of all my family private and, and uh we got a group and we stay together and you know we don't let nobody in you got to be a part of the collective and all this other stuff but he didn't told me everything he didn't told me about the family business and his raising and mama and things mama did do and did things mama didn't do and i was like oh my gosh okay so even with all that i'm like okay i can get this brother to calm down so i'd already planned in my head what i was gonna do is uh we had parked well on the first trip on the first trip we got to this town to get us a load and um i was there i was ready i was going home ready to go all right so one thing he asked me not to do was bring other people into our space i'm like what does that mean and so he said well if me and you in the truck stop and we talking and you just somebody else come up and you bringing them in our space and conversation because i don't like to deal with people like that and i don't like to be seen on the truck stop cameras and you know i don't want nobody to say nothing to me and i don't want to talk to the public because they civilians i'm like Arr! civilians you hadn't been in the military as far as you told me you have been in other institutions not in the military institution so what the heck red flag y'all red flag Thank you.